What's your fourth quarter virtue? Jewish tradition, the Musar tradition, says your soul trait. What's the characteristic of your soul? Your soul trait, or maybe St. Paul, the fruit of the Spirit. But what's the virtue that's going to drive your fourth quarter? There are lots of possibilities, and one is joy. When you read my fable, No Regrets, that I wrote with Matthew, you'll discover that Lisa, the prime character, discovers that her fourth quarter virtue is joy. It fuels her each day to experience more joy and to become a, the most joyful version of herself. And that begins to govern the decisions that she makes about how she uses her time and how she interacts with other people and the ways that she lives her life. Joy. Maybe that's the virtue for you, that you want to pursue the greatest amount of joy in your fourth quarter. And if that's the case, i give you this simple prayer that Teresa wrote. Happy the heart, thought centered on God alone, renouncing every creature for Him, finding in Him glory and contentment, living forgetful of self, and God is all its intention. Happy, and so joyfully it journeys through the waves of this stormy sea. Happy, and joyfully it journeys through the waves of this stormy sea. Set your sights, set your eyes on God, and allow that joy to fill you, and it will take you through all the storms and all the wonderful waters of this sea. Maybe your fourth quarter virtue is joy.